$51,000. Yes, that's how much one family of nine is being charged for missing the ship in Ketchikan, Alaska. I'm gonna give you all the details and then I'm gonna give you my opinion and it's probably gonna shock you. So the cruise ship is Norwegian Encore and the port of call is Ketchikan, Alaska. There's a family of nine and they have spent already $30,000 to take this cruise. Now, what's one of the main things that I tell you guys all the time? Book your excursions through the cruise line. So many things can happen. But the great thing is if you book it through the cruise line, if something happens and you're late back to the ship, the ship will wait for you. So that's why to book uh, excursions with the cruise lines. But here's the issue. This family did book their excursions with the cruise line and they still got left behind in Ketchikan, Alaska. So the tour that they signed up for was the Lumberjack Show. Oh my gosh, if you've ever been to the Lumberjack Show, it's super fun and very interactive. People love it. And it's right downtown Ketchikan, right? And most of you know that uh, the cruise ships dock right downtown as well. So it's literally like, I don't know, three at the max five minute walk from the Lumberjack Show back to your cruise ship. But the one ship that doesn't dock downtown is Norwegian Encore. They dock all the way about 20 minutes from the city in Ward Cove. And then they take buses to get, buses or shuttles, to get into the city. So after this family of nine went to the Lumberjack Show, they went to go get on the bus to go back to Ward Cove, again, 20 minutes away, and they couldn't get on. The reason they couldn't get on the bus is because there was no spots left because that bus driver or tour agent, one of the two, had allowed other people from a different tour to get on the bus that they were supposed to be coming back on. So here they were, 20 minutes away from their ship, downtown Ketchikan, Alaska, and they have no ride back. Just for future reference, there are taxis that are very easily, um, you can easily get them downtown. I take taxis all the time in Ketchikan. Anyways, they don't make the ship, and the ship leaves without them. Even, they're, even though they're on a tour that was booked through NCL. I, I'm at a loss here. So now here they are in Ketchikan, Alaska. They're without their clothes, they're without medication, family of nine, and now they're gonna miss the last two days of this $30,000 cruise that they booked, and they need to pay for themselves to get to the home port of this Norwegian Encore, which is gonna be pricey. $12,000 pricey. Yes, that's how much it cost for their flights back to the home port and uh, for accommodations and food and all that. Now, that's not the only money that they have to pay. They're also charged $971 a piece for missing, missing the cruise ship. Now the fee stems from a federal law, which states that you must visit a foreign port before heading back to the US. Kind of like, for example, when you go on those Hawaii cruises and you need to go to Ensenada, Mexico before you get back, that's another one. So now they've been charged $21,000 for being left behind. That's 12,000 for flights and accommodation and $971 a piece for, yeah, for missing the ship. And remember, they just spent $30,000 to go on this once in a lifetime vacation. So now they're out $51,000. That is a lot of money. So what is Norwegian doing about this? Uh, they are uh, giving them a credit back for uh, the port fee, the port fees, and also the nine hundred and seventy-one dollars they were charged, and also their accommodations. Um, but notice one thing that's missing, like refund for the cruise. So here is my opinion on this. I personally think this is Norwegian's fault. If you book an excursion through the cruise line, and for whatever reason you you don't make it back with that excursion then it's the cruise line's fault. It's not the guest's fault. Unless there's something that I don't know about them being late to a bus or, or some other reason. 
But for me, this is a simple solution. Norwegian is getting a lot of press with this. These nine people should be credited back, not only for their accommodations, their port fees, and also uh, missing the ship fees, but they also should be credited back for this cruise. Because the cruise was ruined because they booked a shore excursion through the cruise line and they weren't able to get on the bus back to the ship and the ship left them. In that scenario, the ship should have waited and transportation should have been sent to go pick them up. So I still stick to my plan of saying always book with the cruise line when you can. Um, but also for those that are sailing on Norwegian Encore out in Ward, Ward Cove, just know that it is a 20 minute jaunt to downtown. And I have uh, throughout the years seen a lot of people miss um, getting back to the ship. What do you guys think? Do you side with me and you think in my opinion, you think my opinion's right and they should be compensated for everything? Or do you still think that they're at fault?